With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. Here's the kicker, Zane Gonzalez, ready to get this one started. And off we go in Madden Ultimate Team. Let's go! Let's do it! Four yards the result on the first play from scrimmage. Second down. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware a ball may come your way. Second and six, just inside the 30. Just beating the play clock is Newton. He's going to fire one deep over the middle. And nearly an interception here on their opening drive. But instead, third down. Well, that certainly looked like something that they discussed all week in practice getting ready for this one. Take the big shot right out of the gate. At worst, you'll open up the defense a little bit, loosen them up, and have them back on their heels. This defense looking for an early stop. This is third down and six. It's a gain of eight, and it'll wind up moving the chains. I don't care how many times we see it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. Watch that Great, great, great. First carry for Christian McCaffrey. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. That's the receivers that spread the defense out, and they were able to come through with a slashing run. But to that point, it's going to be interesting to see the personnel chess match as this one progresses. Yeah, you're exactly right. Can they continue to create running lanes out of passing sets? And if so, it's going to be a long day for the defense. Eight, eight, eight. Second and two, Newton, and he will find the open man. It's D.J. Moore, and they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. The Panthers have the first. It's a gain of 12. First down. First and 10 at the 42-yard line. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and ten as they've got things rolling on this drive. Mike 50. Greg, Greg. Mike 50, Mike 50, Mike 50. Watch, watch. A shotgun snap for Newton. 
Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. The perennial pro bowler Aaron Donald gets the sack. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football. Before he knew it, he was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. Protection certainly going to need to be a bit better here on second and 16. Great, great, great. Here's Newton. Flush to his right. And he's got the hook up to Moore. That one good for 26 and a first down. As a general rule, offensive linemen like to know where their quarterback's going to be when he's setting up to throw the football. But sometimes they just have to get on the run, get on the move. He was able to do that on that play and picks up a first down with a nice throw. Here we go, here we go. 50 to Mike, 50 to Mike. You can't block me. You can't block me. You can't block me. The first carry for the legend, it's Bo Jackson. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. On the stop was Aaron Donald. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent gain. At the 17 yard line. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. On second down, this is Jackson. And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Carolina. From 17 yards out. And the Panthers take it right down and score on the opening drive. Quite the drive there to get things started. They took up the bulk of the first quarter, and they end up in the end zone. And I love your last point. Ended up in the end zone. Because a lot of teams like those long drives, especially to keep their offense off the field, right? Keep the ball away from them. But they finished it with a touchdown. That's the exclamation point. Now flip it over defensively. They've got to slow that down somehow, right? Maybe they need to be a little more aggressive. Maybe a few more pressures towards the quarterback. And the decision to bring it out will cost him about five yards as he'll get this only back to the 20. Catch and run, 56 yards. So barely time to catch our breath. Here's first and 10 just outside the red zone. On first and 10, it's Sanders. Not quite the success they had last play. This one goes for three yards. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. the first down inside the 10. A nice pickup of 14 and it moves the stick, sets up a first and goal. Now they're piecing together a nice drive to start this one. Seems pretty scripted and pretty successful so far. And I think they did it without our help. Because you remember when we sat in with the, in the production meeting. With and he will take this one in for a touchdown. Taking it in from seven yards away as they are now on the board here in the first half. 
And there you go. Nothing really too complex. Block, keep your assignments, let them run it in. They did it. Fundamental football. Good blocking. Beats good tackling on that play. End result, touchdown. The kick is through the uprights to tie this game, but hang on a second. We do have a flag. Well, we looked at each other right away. We knew that flag was coming out. And I always enjoy the conversation post because officials always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag, but you caused the play. You did it. I had to. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we doing? Weaving through traffic, and now he's free. Pass the 20. Touchdown, Carolina. A big play there with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Panthers have taken the lead. Not a whole lot to recap on that drive. Just one play, 75 yards to the house. Yeah, it's a long way to go. And remember, rarely is it a straight line 75 yards, too. Got to have a little extra in there. So whatever the final number is, a well-deserved seat on the bench, a little oxygen if he wants it as well. Extra point right down the middle. And that makes the score 14-7. to seven. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. They'll take over all first down and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. They trail a one-score deficit, 14-7, as they come up first and 10. It'll be Sanders to begin the drive. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven, past the 30 to the 32. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. 43, 43, 15. Throwing on second and three. Mahomes going up top. A wide open, complete. And he will take it in for the touchdown. A big play there. 68 yards. As they are an extra point away now from tying this football game. Gonzalez able to tack on the PAT. And we've got a tie game here in a back and forth first half. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. This one fielded at the 5. Yeah, he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. The Panthers take over first and 10 at their own 21-yard line. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And coming off a one-play drive that was so deflating for the defense, what, what's their mentality? How do they rally here and stop this offense? Well, hopefully there's some determination that sets in because I, they weren't ready to go on the last one. Give all the credit to the offensive guys for getting it done, but to allow a run of that length, 
that's just not being prepared. So now, are they determined? Are they ready to read their keys and make the proper plays? And we'll see how determined they are. Newton on first down. Being chased out left. And he's going to keep it here. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it, and picking up a first down. First down. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Tackles, tackles. Watch the twist. Watch the twist. Kill, 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 kill. Eight. Out of the gun, Newton. Eluding the pressure right. Now he's going to let. And got his man complete. 33 yards that time. That's a great job of working the sideline right there. I love how he tracked the football the whole way. Just reached up and pulled it in. Had excellent field presence to understand where he was in order to make that play happen. So that changes things a bit. Here's a first and 10 all the way down at the 35. From the gun, Newton. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Now, following the sack, they'll look to make amends on a second down and 17. Second quarter, two minutes to go. Tie ball game. Coming up here at halftime, we'll ship you off to Orlando. Jonathan Coachman will have first-half highlights and analysis from a back-and-forth first. Oh, the pressure too great, and he goes down once more. Aaron Donald, his second sack of the night. So this has been a lot like a tennis match, hasn't it? Back and forth. Both of these offenses have their way so far, so maybe the question isn't who's going to score the most points in this game. Maybe it's who's going to get some stops. Yeah, absolutely. And that sack, finally a first step in the right direction for a stop. Give me that ball. Gun, gun. Give me that ball, check, 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 check. Hey, Third and long. It's Newton. Forced out to his left. A solid run of 11 there as he tucked it and ran, but he's still short of the marker at its fourth. I thought he did a pretty good job there to get back what he could, but let's face it, that sack on second down, talk about throwing a wrench into the works. It certainly did. Yeah, he did everything he could there, trying to pick up some positive yardage, and he did, but not enough. And this is right down the middle as he puts it through, and they take a 17-14 lead. These kickers now, it's like we take them for granted. Kicks like that used to be such a big deal, and now you just expect them to make it. Yeah, you're exactly right, and we shouldn't take them for granted. But I have a theory about it. You want to hear it? Yep. They are more athletic now than ever before. Talk about kickers. Trace their backgrounds, trace their histories. You'll find that they were big-time athletes all along, but their kicking was so prevalent that we made them specialists. Well, and now those 50-plus yarders seem easy for some reason. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And now with still more than a minute to go in what's been a tight game, you figure we'll try to see them move the ball downfield. And remember, they get the kickoff to start the second half, so this is a golden opportunity for them to go down there and put up a couple of sixes back-to-back. -back. What a momentum swing that would be. Yeah, you might be able to get a two-for-one without ever even giving up the football. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Now Mahomes. 
Flushed out right. He's going to let this go deep. It's caught inside the 25. And touchdown. A big play there with his second touchdown here in this first half. And his guys are going to retake the lead. That's a tough combination to defend. You know Patrick Mahomes has the big arm, and he's got the elusiveness and the speed. So even though you force him from the pocket, he's still dangerous. Bad idea, in my opinion, to force him from the pocket. Do everything possible to hem him in and make him make the throws from right there in the center of it. And look, we know he's got the big arm. You just noted that. But when he gets outside, it puts so much stress on your defense, trying to locate where receivers are, make sure you're covering them, and he can throw the ball the length of the field. So you just tell a receiver, just keep going. He'll find him, and he did there. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. you got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. The Panthers going to use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. From the 50, Newton escaping the pressure right. And he just gets rid of it, throws it away. The wise move there looked like nobody open. Now second down. Got out of the pocket. Didn't look like he had anybody open, Charles, so just gets rid of it. And a good play by him. If no one's open and you don't have a running lane that you want to take, make the right choice. Get rid of it. Live to fight another down. Back to the air. Newton on second down. He's going to look deep for more. And this is going to wind up incomplete. The coverage there too strong on the deep ball, and now they face a third down. Feels like they're getting caught in between here because they had incompletions on first and second down. Now you got to worry a little bit about the clock because you prefer not to give them another shot here in the first half. But if you don't pick up the first down, guess what? You're likely going to have to. So now third and ten, a big play to start the drive, but nothing since. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. Buying time to his left. He wants it all for the end zone. And this is intercepted, but they'll say out of bounds. Oh, very close to a turnover there in the end zone. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? Zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. The three straight incompletions, they don't care. That hasn't dissuaded them. They're going to go for it on four. Watch safety screen. 20. Safety screen. Express. Check Mike 21, Mike 21, check. They snap it to Newton. Dancing to his left. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Give the sack to Lawrence Taylor. The oh, offensive nightmare there. You go for it on fourth, and the play doesn't even really get to develop a sack. And it's so unfortunate, too, because you think you've got something good called, but if your offensive line can't hold up, that's often the result. They find a way back to the quarterback. They'll run on first down. It's Sanders. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Yellow, yellow. They'll run with Sanders. And an alley to run. 20. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. Boy, he does it at a high level, doesn't he? Because when I watch him, I think of his vision. Straight ahead, peripheral. Also has that sense of where holes are going to be before they actually open. I think that helps set him apart from many of the other backs in the league. A first down carry for Barkley. 
And strong running there as he's inside the 10 and down to the 8-yard line. Call it a gain of 4 on first, and that'll make it second down. To throw on second and 6, Mahomes steps away to his left. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Mahomes going to throw. And it's caught. Touchdown. Randy Moss. In the final seconds of the first half. And his guys are going to add on to their lead. Gonzalez good on the decision to just kick the extra point winds up. Now after the touchdown, here's Gonzalez on to kick it away. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. Time here for likely one play, then off to the locker room, and they're going to have some adjustments to make. They certainly will, and I think a lot of people are thinking to themselves, all right, take the knee, get out of here, regroup. But how will the head coach and his staff approach halftime? Will it be angry? Will it be clinical? Will they be calm? Will they just let it all out? Who knows? I'd love to be a fly on the wall for this one, though. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. And that drives coaches insane, doesn't it? When here they see go, that happen, it just, it just doesn't go. feel right, does it? Plus, you're giving up yardage. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10 on their side of midfield at the 47. Saquon Barkley running right. He's got a first down and then some inside the 40. 25 yards to pick up there and also a first down. They've kept him in check until that run. That's the first time he's really gotten loose in this game. And they have to keep that in mind. Don't dwell on the fact that he finally had a big run. You kind of are counting on that as the game went on. Get back to what you were doing before. Start limiting him again. On first down, it's Sanders. Sheds off the tackle. A big hitter there. A first down gain of 26 yards. They're trying to show that they can run the ball and protect this lead. Give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point. Going to make that defense stand up and stop them. a short gain that time as they're able to get him down. Only a yard on the pickup there. Second and goal. And this is why aggressive defensive coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D linemen to make the play. Another try for Barkley. And he is into the end zone for a touchdown. 